So boys, I made this professional Nike shoe advert all at home in my living room for a total of zero monies. And this is how I've done it. Hello? What? If you want your cat back, Janice, you'll have to give me 500 quid. I'm not taking anything less. It's got a bow tie on and it's in my bin. What? Yeah, you're right. I do need some new shoes. Hey, these shoes are absolutely honky bonky. Look at the state on them. And I'm telling you that for the only reason this. I've went out and I've got myself some new ones, some miles better ones than these, because these are actually stinky maninky. So, I went out, got myself some new ones, and boom, just arrived. A month ago. I haven't worn them, they've been sat in the box. I want to wear them, don't get me wrong, but I just haven't because of this video right here. Here they are, Nike's Move to Zero. So these are like made from somewhat recyclable materials, I guess. Um, here they are, pretty swanky danky. They are the Nike Air Force 90s cork. So I was thinking, before I wear these bad boys, because they're pretty swanky danky, I want to make a shoe advert of them. So, boys, the rules for this challenge are I'm only allowed to use stuff I can find in my house. So I'm not allowed to spend any Wonga. I have to use reusable and recyclable materials to go with the concept of the show. It all has to be filmed in my gaff, so I'm not allowed outside the hoop. So I'm not allowed to any studios or fancy schmancy places. And it all has to be smooth, seamless, swanky, saucy, and obviously steezy. So let's get on with it, bro. So the challenge is that I can only use stuff in the house. So I've been around the house and I've found the shoes, obviously. I found some cardboard that came through the post this morning. Probably useless. I've found a couple bits of cardboard I saved from a while back. Probably useless as well. But what I did find was these bad boys. They literally are cork coaters. But the fact that the cork, they're getting put in the video. And I also have just discovered. Not that like, I didn't know it was there and it just happened to be in the house when I moved in. But I did buy it for this sort of reason. But I've rediscovered a table. <laughs> it's not just a table, boys. It's a lack. Whoa! The lack returns! So after scouring the house for materials and props, the next step was to plan out the advert. And first things first when you're planning an advert, you gotta find a banging tune. And after flicking through more tunes than a DJ with Parkinson's, I found this banger. <laughs> so this one we're gonna use. So the next step is to storyboard the scenes of the advert. Yeah, I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked cause I'm hardly surprised This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time This one's for my wife, could've left We know what we're doing, we just need to execute it like it is in my mind, boy So now we had a storyboard of scenes, there's only one thing left to do Film that shit. So guys, we've got all the equipment here. So we got the light, we got this light, that's Jeff, and this light, that's Frogly. So, and then we got the lack, and then we got the bag full of camera gear. Now all I need to do is set all the rest of the shiz up. We need the green screen up, we need all the shiz up. It's all here. Let's get it set up, boys. This is the setup. We've got light here, the lack there, black backdrop, and then a light there. Outside view, working with lack, backdrop, light, light, camera, and we've got a gimbal. So that's what we've got to work with. First things first, what I want to do is get a 3D render of the shoe. So then if I, there's any shots I don't get or anything I do want to do in post that I haven't thought of now, I've got a 3D render of the shoe to work with because once I've filmed this video, I'm going to wear the shoes because I've been waiting about two months to wear the shoes. So let's take a 3D render. So what I've done is I've downloaded a 3D render app on my phone and then I'm gonna just scan it with this and that's the best I can do because I don't even know what else you'd use to do it. Obviously, there's probably loads of equipment out there but I haven't got a clue made. Basically, the 3D renders aren't working very well. So this is what they're looking like. So this side is fine, but then when you go to the other side, it looks an absolute shambles. I think it's because I'm like shifting position of the shoe so it's losing track of what the object actually is. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and attach the shoe to the ceiling. So the only problem with this is I don't have any string or anything I can use to really attach to the ceiling. I've been racking my brains trying to fight, figure out how I'm gonna hang this from the ceiling And what I do have was an old headphone wire because I broke my headphones And I have these little sticky things that go on the bottom of your desk to keep wires out of the way But you're supposed to use them with cable ties and I don't have any cable ties So what I do have is a shoelace which I melted down so I slid it through And then I've tied one end to the, to the cable and the other end to that cable And I'm gonna hang it on the ceiling and then stick the other one in the shoe And I just hope it works Now we have a floating shoe. 
Boys, so we've actually went and pretty much smashed it this girl. So we got the 3D render. Now let's get on with filming the actual advert deal. We've got the shoe hanging up from the ceiling. I'm gonna do all the shots of the shoe first and then go back to the start and do the little corky thing with the Nike thing, which you'll see what I mean as the very, very end. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. My bop and unlike me too. No roof on my top and my babe see through. Right, so I've got the shot of the 3D spin, but I think it would look quite cool with a little bit of smoke behind it. Now, I don't have a smoke machine because who has one of them laying about? But what we do have is a can of deodorant and an alley. Star right, shit ain't gonna feed you. Can you fucking breathe? So, what, remember these? Boom. Be a mats. Medic cork and so are part of the shoes. So what we're gonna do is I think it would be a cool shot if loads of cork came up from the bottom or dropped down or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is break all these up into tiny little bits onto this bacon tray and then I'm gonna get the bacon tray underneath and just go and shut the cork off. So I think I've just lost a bit, but I think that will look pretty cool. So that's what we're gonna do, boys. Hold up, big flex, my swole up, hard body, they fold up. Shawty say I done glowed up, double text on my phone up. What with your boy, I'm the man of the year. I'm not a fan of your peers. Serve him with fate, I'ma hand him the shears. He not the man of your peers. Got uh, two more shots to do, and I need to be wearing them for these. The man in the mirror, cry me a rip. So this is uh, one of the last shots, and basically what, what, what we're doing is I'm in this fancy clobber, got the sneakers on. I'm gonna lie down on here, on my back, with my feet in the air. I mean, it looks cool in my head, but I don't actually know if it's gonna look cool. But Noxie helping us out with the camera. Porno style. Porno style. Never used the camera or a gimbal in his life. But he's helping us out because obviously I can't film it. We've already tried it a couple times and uh, yeah, it's, it's a rough shot. Thing. Like, I mean, I hope all this effort pays off and I actually end up using this clip. Imagine if I didn't even use it. Sometimes I do that. I spend ages on a clip and I'm like, yeah, shit. <laughs> I ain't never split a beer with you. I got hit. Boys, for the last shot, what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking if I was sat on the chair in the funky shirt and it pans up from the bottom of the shoes and it comes up and I have one of these courses in my hand and I throw it and it just comes like a disc and it passes right past the camera and then there's a seamless transition into a black screen with maybe Nike just do it or something like that on there but I'm thinking it would be cool if there was a Nike tick on this when it passes through the camera and obviously I probably don't have the best throw in the world definitely not a throw enough for it to glide past the camera like that Nah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking I get like a 3D model. Let's draw the Nike baby. Signing them titties, go blinging like Jingo, rock star like Ringo. Checks coming in. The last bit we got to do is the very first bit in the video. And um, basically we've got loads of crumbled bits of cork coming together to make a Nike tick, which then cuts to the shoe. So we need to make a crumbly cork Nike tick. Flex my swole up, double cup and I'm pulled up. Niggas hating like hole up. What's the problem? I'm pulled up. Big flex my swole up. Hard body they fold up. Shawty say I done glowed up, double text on my phone up That's it boys, we filmed the video, all that's left to do now is edit that thing And I think you've seen enough videos of me sat computer twiddling my mouse so Here's a picture of a cute puppy, a tin of marmite, the world's largest hot dog Steve-O from Jackass and a magic scroll And the magical scroll says if you sprinkle Steve-O from Jackass with some magical powder from this mysterious bag of this mysterious fella It goes BOOM! And then the video is edited Now the video is edited, there's only one thing left to do Watch that thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. And here's the video, boys. Subscribe or your mum does smack and your tunes are whack.